In this video, we'll begin to animate a character from one position to another. Here I have a blank sequence. Before I get started, I'm going to make sure that auto key is turned on, so this icon here should be highlighted. I'm going to increase the length of the sequence. I'm just going to change this value to 120 and hit enter. So now we're good to go, I'm going to drag our player asset onto the canvas. And so it's visible for the full length of the sequence, I'm going to stretch the asset key out by right clicking and selecting stretch asset key. So that's now visible for the full 120 frames. With the playhead at zero, I'm just going to scale it up a bit and I'll move them down. I'm ready to start plotting points to make them animate. Auto key is on, so anything we do will be recorded at the playhead. So if I move the playhead to the end of our sequence, and simply click and drag the asset to where I want it to be, you see that we're given this dashed path with two points on it. This is a path which our asset will animate along. So here is the start point, and this is our end point. And you can see in the track panel, we've got a position parameter track that has been automatically added along with keyframes at the start and at the end. So if I play this, our character now animates from one side of the screen to the other. I'm going to toggle on loop so it automatically starts from the start. Because Auto Key is on, we can move our character around as we like at any point in time. If I move the playhead around and just move the character on the canvas, we can see that he now follows this path. To delete these keyframes, we can just click and drag to highlight and hit delete. And now we're back to our starting animation.